Hi, my name is Jacob Taylor. I'm here to spread a good word. When I say this lady slammed the door so goddamn fast in my face, I thought I literally flew back like this. What is good, ladies and gents? It is your favorite former pro hooper slash pirate king, Jay Tisho for shizzle my nizzle. Not playing. But ladies and gents, <coughs> I gotta, tell you guys a story. I gotta tell you guys a story about when I was a kid growing up as Jehovah's Witness. So, for those of you who don't know what Jehovah's Witness is, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses is, is, you can say similar to Christians, but um, Jehovah's Witnesses don't, they don't celebrate holidays. They don't really celebrate birthdays either. They don't really celebrate anything. Because like Jehovah's Witnesses, we feel like there's really no, well, they feel like there's really no need to, sell, to choose one specific day to celebrate something. Every day, should, every day should feel like a celebration. So, which makes sense in a way. But uh, now I'm pretty sure my mother and my grandmother can give you more insight on what Jehovah's Witness is, but I'm just giving you just a, a quick gist of it. All right. So as a kid, um, I start. So my mom started then bringing us to, my mom and dad started bringing us to Kingdom Hall when we was about what? Fourth grade, I believe. About fourth grade. Yeah. About fourth grade, we <laughs> became Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Now, why we did it? this day I, I i haven't asked my mom or my dad why we did that but probably should ask him that at some point definitely should ask him i have not asked him that for whatever reason i don't know why i haven't asked them but i have not asked them so uh yeah we became little witnesses in about third or fourth grade and then on kingdom hall every tuesday thursday and sunday i believe so yeah it's a it's a regiment that happens on a day-to-day -day basis so we go to thing called the kingdom hall kingdom hall it's a uh, well, it's basically like church, but it's like it happens on Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday, which is like the days where we go to we go to Kingdom Hall, pretty much, you know, do our uh, you you do, you re, uh, what's what I'm looking for? You read Bible scriptures, you do talks, you do skits of like uh, situations of like how to spread a good word, things like that. I like it was pretty fire. They do a lot. They do some like singing as well. They meet some new people, find find out some new stuff about other people as well. Meet some new kids. It's not third, yada. yada. Pretty cool, actually. That's not, not bad, actually. Now, ladies and gents, to the, to the real crux of the story. So, fast forward a little bit. Jehovah's Witnesses, we've been in, doing this about a couple of years now, about three, four years now. So, by this time, I'm in about seventh grade, ladies and gents. Now, ladies and gents, in seventh grade, I was about 6'4". Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's hard to believe. Very hard to believe. I was 6'4 in seventh grade. I know. It's ridiculous. It makes no daggone sense. I don't get it my damn self. But, anyways... So I'm about seventh grade, right? Go on field service, right? So field service is pretty much like spreading the good word and going door to door, knock on people's doors, and you know, spreading a good word, helping to see if people want to join Kingdom Hall, right? So in a way, you can, can kind of call it recruiting, but it's not really recruiting. But uh, so, ladies and gents, I'm gonna tell you a story about when I, me personally, was doing the field service type of thing, right? So. And gents, remind you, like I said, I'm 6'4", barely smile. So there's that. So I'm seeing other people doing their thing in field service, right? My mom's doing her thing. She looks, she looks great. I'm like, dad, she is good doing her thing. It's like, hey, my name is Jamisa, and we're spreading a good word this time, three, yada. And they're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, okay, like this, okay. And my mom, I'm like, damn, she really talking up a storm right now. She is doing good. Man, I appreciate my mother. She is good at what she does. <laughs> And then <clears throat> I see some other people do it as well. I'm like, okay, they're doing pretty good. Spread it like, hey, we're here to spread a good word. Stand there, yeah. People was like, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh, this don't seem that this, this seem that bad. I mean, they're growing up, but it's like, okay, they're doing pretty good for themselves. I'm like, okay, maybe I could pretty a damn good chance by damn self. I'm like, all right, smooth. And then click on my head. Uh-huh. Most people are black people. Hmm. Okay. It should be it should be all right then. Now, they they say we all we all have to do it, right? Now, not saying all the time people answer the door because they don't always answer the door. Sometimes people see Jehovah's Witnesses, they look away and they pretend they're not there. Respectfully speaking, that <laughs> it's happened. You you think it doesn't happen, but trust me, it's happened. But so, ladies and gents, I go now, mind you, I am really shitting my pants right now because I don't like I don't I don't like talking. Respectfully, in seventh in seventh grade, I don't like talking. Also, I had braces, so I definitely was not smiling. 
respectfully, I was not smiling in seventh grade. I had braces. I forgot to mention that part. I had braces. I was not smiling because I had braces. Most people who have braces normally don't smile. And honestly, I can't say I blame them because people get made fun of me. People get made fun of wearing braces. You get called brace face, you get called this, metal mouth. It's I ain't gonna lie. The jokes are just non-stop and I hated smiling because of that. In fact, I hate it. So, ladies and gents. So, I knock on the door, don't answer the first time. Alright, cool. Big deal. So, alright, Mike. My mom, I'm like, thank God no one's answering. I'm like, I'm like in my mind, like, I hope nobody freaking answers. Because, like, they tell me they tell me what to say, saying, you hear to spread a good word, stand third, X, Y, and Z. I'm like, all right, cool. See, let's be, let's be honest, ladies and gents, before we get, before I continue the story, you may have a thought in your mind when you, when you're about to do something, right? But sometimes when you, when you get in that position, you're like, you get stuck. You're just like, the hell do I say? What's my line? What's my line? Like, I'm pretty sure we, we've all had those blocks. Every, every singer, writer, athlete has had a block at, at, like that at some point in time where they, they do all the studying and then the moment comes, they just forget everything. It happens to the best of us. We're human, so be it, it happens. So, fast forward a little bit. So, again, ladies and gents, knock on the door. Don't answer so I'm like, oh, thank God. I'm Again, I'm praying that no one answers this back on the door because I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to anybody, okay? I don't want to talk to anybody. So, go next door, knock, knock. Someone answers, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, shit. Someone answered. So, <laughs> excuse me. Now, mind you, listen, gents. Like I said, I am six foot four. I am a tall, young black man in predominantly white neighborhood. The lady, the person who answered, was an older white woman, respectfully speaking. So, not saying this to everybody, but in this situation, this was the case. So, ladies and gents. I'm a tall black man who rarely smiles. And I'm saying, hey, my name is Drew Taylor. I'm here to spread a good word. When I say this lady slammed the door so goddamn fast in my face, I thought I literally flew back like this. It was crazy. I'm like, yo, it was like a, a huge gust. Of I ain't never see the thing. She was an older woman, too. I never seen that goddamn strong. Like, I got the, the wind hit me so fast. That, I, that my that my mom had to catch me. I was like, "Mommy, what happened?" I damn near fainted because it it was that strong of a wind. So my mom told me, "Let's kill. You need to smile more." I'm like, "Mommy, I did smile." And she was like, "Kill. No, the heck you didn't. You was like this." In my mind, I thought I did smile, but like in reality, I did this. Like, come on, that that's not believable. Like when I now that I think about when I was when I was watching them speak, they were showing all whites of their teeth. They were like this. They're like, hello, how you doing? My name is such and such, such and such. Showing all whites of their teeth, and the voice changed. For I don't know why the voice changed. It didn't make any sense. Like the vo like most people's voice would deep, and then the voice ended up going higher. I'm like, how are you do that with your voice? That's crazy. But anyways, so then my mom's voice went higher. I didn't know it go higher. My mom's voice went higher too. She's like, I was like, what the, what, time out. What in the world is going on here? All right. Anyways. So ladies and gents, I failed my, my first session, but it's okay. It happens to the best of us. I, I, I had a little bit of stage frights, respectfully. I did because I've never done it before. So then the next session, <coughs> I tried to do what my mom said. <coughs> now, I got all these gents. That person I go to just also happens to be an, oh, an, another uh, Caucasian person. Just happens to be. Now again, ladies and gents, I'm gonna reiterate that I'm a six-four young black man who does not smile a lot. And um, my voice was kind of deep in seventh grade. It, it wasn't like super deep, but it was it was deep enough. So again, I, the second time I still didn't smile. I was like this. Like, hold on, y'all ever watch Hancock? You know how Will Smith smiled and Hancock, he was like this? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> but I <clears throat> I tried it again. I did. I tried, I really tried this time. I'm like, so I, tr I tried softening my voice. I was like, okay, let me soften my voice a little bit. So I was like, <clears throat> hello, my name's Jaquiel Taylor. Now, not gonna lie, instead of them slamming the door in their face, they laughed in my face and then closed the door. 
not gonna lie, I was so mad the second time around that I'm just like, you know what? I don't wanna do this anymore. I was so disgusted about the fact that that just happened to me. I was like, you know what? Maybe speaking in, in public just is, is not for me because this, this is gonna happen every time. Because like my first, my, I had two very bad instances going up and I'm just like, my mouth is for me. Like you, you, you practicing. I'm just like, but mommy, like, the interactions you guys had versus the ones I had, it was not the same. I didn't like that. Respectfully, I didn't like that. So you know, you know what? I'm gonna take a break from this. I'm gonna have to do some serious soul searching. But uh, yeah, ladies and gents. So <laughs> that was the story. <coughs> My first time on field service. So let me know what you think of the story in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. It's your favorite form of slash One Piece. Uh, Power King, J2's official is my nizzle.